Hi everyone, um, today I'm just going to do a very quick talk about the difference between the uh, fake MagMod system that I bought from eBay versus the original. Now, um, like a lot of people, if you what, in fact, if you're watching this, you probably know what MagMod is, and like myself, you were probably you are probably thinking that MagMod is a lot of money. Um, there's a cheaper one available on eBay, and is the cheap one any good? Um, the short answer to that is no. I bought this really just to prove whether um, I would use the MagMod system, um, especially at weddings and stuff, which is mainly what I do, because the original is so expensive. Now, I took a decision that I would buy these and I would be willing to essentially write off the cost if I like the MagMod if I like the whole system basically and it was something that I would use rather than just something that I would chuck in a box and eventually sell for half the price. So I got this from eBay um, along with um, the grid and the gel holder thing and um, the, one of these fake mag bounces. Now the first thing I have to say is that I've already read online that the magnets were uh, are quite weak and as you can see from here um, the rubber band bit is up that are in, in MagMod speed, the mag grip, the fake mag grip is actually quite thin. What I actually did to try and counter the weak magnets was I actually bought some of my own neodymium, the, the rare earth magnets basically, that, that it uses and I've added some on to give it a little bit of extra, um, you know, pull. It, it does give it a little bit of extra strength um, and Essentially, the, you just slot the rubber band over your flash like so, and then you can put your grid on. Um, like so, and there you go, you can shoot, um, and as you can see, it's okay like that, and the grid doesn't come off. And if you wanted to add a gel, you can do so like that, and again, it doesn't come off. Now, that was the case whether I upgraded the magnets or not. What made me upgrade the magnets was the mag bounce. Um, this is the fake one, and when you put it on, it seems to clip quite well and you can have it in both ways um, again I did the same thing I bought some extra magnets because they're only a few quid each it's not expensive um, and just put them there now the issue is this um, as you can see there you go if I start shaking it around like simulating like I'm walking it falls off and the same thing again it, as you can see it's very very weak um, so it's not really practical for me the first time I tried to use it at a wedding um, I put my camera upside down uh, like on my spider holster and about four steps later a guest came up behind me and went, yeah mate, I think you dropped this. So anyway, so with that in mind I thought, right, this is something that I actually want to use. It's very useful. I like the ability to, to grid quickly, add gels quickly um, and you know, swap. So I then invested in the original MagMod and as you can see, it's a lot thicker here. Um, it's actually really hard to get the mag grip on and off. In fact, I'm not going to do it because it's just going to mean I'm struggling to get it back on afterwards. But essentially, this won't come off easily. This one just comes off as soon as you put it in your bag because you can just basically do that with one finger. There's no way you can do that here. Um, so that's big plus side there. The most important thing is, and here we go, I've bought the original mag bounce as well, is that when you put that on, you can shake that all day long. And it's all fine. And the same again, upside down. And I can turn it sideways. And there you go. As you can see, that's good. Um, and as you'd expect, the, the gel, hold on a minute, also goes on really easily. And I turn it around. And again, that is never gonna come off. Um, I also like the fact that on the original, the magnets are covered on both sides, unlike the cheap one, the, the fake one, where the magnets are exposed on one side, which means sometimes um, if you accidentally connect it to another thing, um, you can pull the magnets out, which is a right pain in the bum because they're really hard to separate afterwards. So that's it really. Um, the only other thing I bought from the original is the mag sphere. Uh, actually, I've got the mag beam somewhere, but I haven't got that um, on the table to show you. Um, and that's just like a bounce diffuser. So um, there you go, that shakes quite easily as well. Um, that's in a nutshell what the differences are between the two. As you can tell, because I've bought the original, um, I do rate the original product. It, it, it is gonna really, 
um, save me some time and give me a lot of flexibility during weddings. This basically is a cheap pile of shit. Um, I really wouldn't recommend it to anyone. If you're gonna spend the money, um, unless you wanna basically write off a bit of money like I have, I wouldn't bother. Just invest the money, get the original. Um, they designed it, it's a good product. Um, that's all I can say about that. Hope you found this useful. Um, if you've got any comments, leave them below and uh, speak to you soon. Thanks for watching.